Hello, peeps. You guys are at home sleeping. I'm out here grinding. I know you guys are really good at math. I'm not so good. But I'll talk about some uh, simple math today. Just uh, addition and subtraction and multiplication. Um, so as I share this uh, journey of life with you guys, um, lately I also started talking to you guys about you know, business experience, different projects that I've done, uh, from a motel business to a few retail businesses, and uh, now in a uh, quick, uh, quick service restaurant franchises, uh, as well as uh, being in the residential real estate space, mainly uh, multifamily, invested in a couple of buildings, a couple of apartment buildings. And uh, since we're doing a quick service restaurant ground up construction right now, uh, I'd like to get in that space where, uh, you know, where I told you in the previous video, there's a nice spread, a little bit of margin that you could make in addition to your, you know, your return as investor. So I'm, uh, I like the multi-family space more because uh, in the last video I explained where, you know, where a single family house is values derived from comps where other homes in the areas are selling for. Uh, but uh, multi-family, it's uh, based on NOI. You know, so our job as investors is to increase the NOI, and uh, thus, uh, you know, you, you do that by going in uh, from day one. You know, putting money into the into the asset where you could uh, justify raising the rents. You know, from giving increasing the curb appeal to uh, improving the interior of the building, uh, and. Uh, Thus, you raise the rents, uh, you know, again, it's a, it's a separate, longer conversation. Uh, and then uh, you take uh, the cap rate, you know, which is basically the rate of return that investors are willing to deploy capital in a given market. And it, 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 it changes, you know, right now, cap rates are really compressed. So what I'm trying to tell you is, um, you know, multifamily, uh, uh, we'll make a separate, you know, video about it but it's uh i like it uh quite a bit because uh you know being a business person you could force value uh into that asset single family at home sfr it's something that everybody understands everybody has a very strong opinion about it because everybody has lived in a house you know but then there's simple math that goes into it as well uh, you know uh, so with that said um, I'm gonna experiment buy a few homes just to get my hands dirty and uh, uh, rehab a few maybe built a few uh, you know we've done we've built a couple of commercial buildings before our own uh, custom house before so now do it for uh, for ourselves as investors. Uh, so this one home, after probably looking at 20 of them just within the last month, had one under contract. Uh, where this, this, it's in a college town, and uh, this girl's family bought it for her. She was living in one room and uh, renting it, the other couple of rooms to her couple of roommates from college and uh, you know pretty good pretty good setup you know living there for free the house was very old built in 1940s I looked at the inspection report everything wrong with the house you know from from termites to foundation to they needed all new electric uh, all new plumbing and uh, uh, as well as you know, heat and air, it needed a brand new system. Uh, as well as uh, the outside, uh, needed to needed a lot of work. So 
since he hasn't done that, she accepted my, my pretty low offer from the asking price because basically said, hey, these all these things wrong. You haven't done any, anything about it to fix them. They're, they're, they're much worse now. So she accepted probably, uh, probably 20, my oh gosh, I think about 25, 30% then, you know, from the listing price. And then uh, we had, uh, you know, inspectors go out there, look at the house. I went over there with the, with the with the realtor as well as uh you know a gc a general contractor to get a quick uh, rehab figure and what we learned was that um the est the rehab that i estimated uh the numbers that i crunched uh this was the rehab was going to be a little bit more than double of what we initially thought so well numbers don't crunch anymore we have to revise our offer um, so the next offer was at 50% almost 50% from what the initial offer we had made and she rejected our offer uh, okay so what are we out of you know yeah there's a lot of time and effort that went into it and first, not to mention the, the, all of the homework, the due diligence we, you know, we've been doing for, for quite a while. But that's a process that you have to follow. Uh, and then, uh, you know, putting, giving the earnest money for them, to, uh, uh, giving, giving the option money for them to remove the, the, um, the asset off of the market. And then uh, along with earnest money. Uh, which uh, we get back uh, so the offer was rejected because our numbers weren't crunching we are out of option money along with the inspection fee you know not significant amount but it's not insignificant either that's again that's a game that we play and that's how it's done unlike multifamily where thing has things have been pretty hot uh, for the last several years, though it seems to be cooling off right now a little bit. You know, these two uh, properties that invested in along with somebody else's deal, you know, these guys went, you know, 150K, you know, hard day one. Basically, if, you know, uh, if they back out, you lose that money. That's a, it's a pretty tough pill to swallow, but that's how competitive things have been in that space. So from, for, for single family, this house didn't work. Um, while we were there, this uh, realtor is also an attorney. And I had talked to him a couple of days before that, hey, um, you know, we like to do several of these homes. So he said, you know, he called a couple hours later and said, hey, I, I spoke to a realtor and, uh, you know, she's saying that she knows you know, a couple of investors that own about five homes. And they would like to sell, I guess, retirement and what have you. Well, we like to, we like to have them if, if the numbers crunch. So while we're at this house where our offer was rejected, we drove over to the other house. The other house, um, we liked much more. Good location, good neighborhood, and the house was in as bad shape as this one. Again, keep in mind, you know, when it comes to this, uh, you know, SFR single family residence, you know, you want to, you know, of course, a good location and the ugliest house in a decent and a good neighborhood, you know, working class type of, uh, you know, neighborhood. This particular house that, which we do have under contract now, I also made an offer, uh, 70 percent uh, uh you know 30 percent less than the asking price which was rejected we came back the next day and uh agreed to pay them the the asking price which we thought was fair and uh don't think it's gonna need very much of a rehab uh you could pretty much put lipstick on the pig as they say and uh you know rent it out to a couple of college students so let's see, we have it under contract. Uh, 
going to go through the same process. Uh, right now, it doesn't appear it needs as much work. Well, we'll update you how that goes. So, Ibrahim, you were asking me yesterday about this house. And I said, you know, Mama's car, it costed about the same as this house. Where Mama's, you know, car, <laughs> the, the same amount um, that, yeah, that we pay on it monthly, this house will provide a couple hundred dollars more to us uh, in, 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 in rent. Uh, and uh, the, the, the vehicle is a depreciating asset. Uh, you know, several years down the road, it's not worth anything, useless. You have to repeat it again. Whereas this house, you know, you wait, you know, 15, 20 years. If you buy it right, what you paid, you know, you're looking at probably a, a, a two and a half, three times of what you paid for. So appreciating asset. Uh, simple math, guys. And we'll talk about, you know, what criteria that I've used. Uh, but anyhow, that's all for now. Uh, we'll update you guys on how this goes. Alright guys, basically do the math and the math will tell you what to do. Assalamu alaikum. Love you guys.